anyone else waste more time going through this kind of stuff than they do actually working. I need an extension cord, so let's see if I can't find one. And today I'm going to be working on this guy. So there are just nicks and dents and things in it. And before, after I stripped it, that I never really took the care to get right. Clean it up for goodness sakes. It's quarantine. Okay, I'm back. And if I look different, it's because I rubbed some of the sawdust around my, my complexion so that it would look nice. And then I was like, oh, there's a blemish here. So let me get a little foundation. So then I squeezed it out and like a tongue came out. And then I was like, oh, let me put more. So possibly the foundation too, which I rarely ever use, but sometimes it's nice. And I am going to wipe this down and get all the sawdust off or as much as I can while time lapsing. Wow, that took me no time at all. <laughs> now I'm gonna mix up some paint and I'm going to throw some paint on. Okay, so I've got it uh, sort of halfway painted. I got to get the back side first coat and then of course this bottom, which my daughter walks in and she's like, oh, leave it like that. And maybe you guys might be thinking the same thing, but it's my project. And when it gets all done, you'll see that this is a good choice. And this is what your first coat should look like on a smooth surface. So I am using Coastal Blue Milk Paint by General Finishers. I have no idea what your first coat should look like on a smooth surface. Milk paint's good. The smell of milk is a little annoying because like I like almond milk. It's good. I mean, really, seriously, it is a low odor. I mean, I am outside, but nothing. It's, it goes on nicely. I think it's only going to need two coats. The stuff is pretty thick. So we went to the grocery store. I had the first coat on before we left and it gave it time to dry. And so they came back and did the second coat. Let me show you. So second coat is looking good. There are definitely spots that are going to need to be recoated, but there are also spots that look fully coated. So tomorrow's touch-ups won't be too terribly bad. This project took a long time. So while I get working on the next project, enjoy some footage of my dad showing off his dog Bella's cute tricks. 